Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of uh, Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, coming to you with my pearl handle pistol cufflinks, graciously given to me by my son, Michael Rivers, our content genius. Today, we're reacting to police body camps that have been in the news lately. But before we get into what we're going to react to today, um, I am going to tell you what, that this episode is brought to you by eForms.com. That's eForms. Dot com. What did I say? You heard me. I said eforms.com. If you have a particular legal task you need to accomplish, you can go to eforms.com and get your form. Don't hire a guy like me. It's too expensive. So if you need to kick your grandma out of the basement because she's eating Cheetos and uh, running your porn bill up, well, you just uh, go to eforms.com and you can get an eviction notice and grandma's gone. Or let's say you want to sell grandma, uh, you know, something like uh you have a glock nine you want to sell grandma just use a a purchase agreement you know so that when she gets popped uh in the back of a squad and and she tries to claim that that's your gun you've got a bill of sale you can say no fuck that grandma bought that for me legally anyway go to eforms.com for all your needs to get whatever kind of legal remedy you get against your grandma anyway so today we are reacting to this Colorado woman who was arrested uh, and she was seriously injured. There was some kind of road rage incident where the cops uh, stop her and they wind up sitting on the fucking railroad tracks. Now, this is just absolutely ridiculous. A police officer in Colorado, I'm going to read a little bit of this to you so you know what I'm talking about, uh, was arrested. The woman was seriously injured when the parked patrol car she was sitting in because she was arrested uh, was stuck, struck by a freight train, said she did not realize he had stopped the vehicle on the railroad tracks, according to police body cam. You know, here's the thing. I don't know how these guys are trained. I do know how they're trained, actually. But I don't know why they aren't trained more. You know, you don't need much uh, in terms of education to become a police officer, but I think you should have to, you should have, to have a four-year degree plus the skills. But you don't. And you're dealing, and I think you should have a lot more psychology training than they have. You also have little dick disease by some of these cops. You know, they, they, they just get so animated. This was in Platteville, Colorado. And Sergeant uh, Pablo Vasquez told uh, another officer that he thought that he had cleared the tracks when he stopped Urani Rios Gonzalez on September 16th. So this was just about a month ago. In a suspected road rage incident involving a gun, he said he pulled right up behind her truck and was focused on her because he was concerned about weapons. Now, the, uh, weapons are very serious things. For, uh, I mean, first of all, it's a difficult job to be a cop, right? I mean, th there's nobody that would disagree with that. You get into all kinds of situations, and their lives are on the line. No question about that. My father was a firefighter. He, a little bit different, but his he went and he fought fire, saved lives. His job was to save people, and that's what a cop's job is, to save people and to protect and serve whatever. But sometimes they make huge mistakes, and when they make these mistakes, it's just sometimes you can't take it back. So we're gonna, so let's play the video, and we'll kind of react to it. No, that's a... Uh... Oh, Listen How fucking frightening has that got to be? I mean, they're on the tracks. I mean, it's nighttime. Um, this, but let's back up just a little bit and see where this started. Move your car. Stay back. Now watch this. This is just. Is that hard? No, that how this woman is not dead is just beyond me. And how this cop allowed, you know, here's the thing. And I am not an expert in police procedure by any stretch. I have cross-examined many cops on procedure, and I know a little bit about the procedure. But, you know, I, we're going to put an episode up later with me and my buddy Lee, uh, who flew me up to uh, do a uh, an interview with a client, you know, and before he gets into his airplane, he has a checklist. 
you know, a checklist of that. We got to do this. 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 And, and he goes through that checklist checklist before every time he gets in, in that airplane. And the reason being, if you miss a step, you miss a step, you miss a step, you can die. I think the same thing can be applied to being a police officer. And, you know, and why do I say that? I, I say that because there just seems to be so many mistakes. You know, cops have, a, a, most of them have a two-year education plus the skills. You know, they have a, like a junior college education, and then they go through a skills training. And that's it. Um, but let's keep watching. Uh, oh, 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 Move your car. Sh shouldn't you have known that your car is on the fucking railroad tracks to begin with? I mean, you get out of your car, you can look down, and you see exactly where the fuck you are. You gotta have situational awareness. Stay back! This is just so horrific. I mean, you, you can see the railroad crossing sign. It's right in front of the, the squad. Move your car! Look at that. I know... I, I stopped this here at, uh, what is it? It's at uh, 53 seconds, basically. And I don't know how this woman isn't dead. And can you imagine how this officer feels? It's called the, oh, holy fuck moment. Because you just screwed up. You ruined a squad car, and you possibly killed uh, a suspect. Just lost touches before six. Get us medical immersion. The suspect was in the vehicle that was hit by the train. So we're gonna back up a little bit. We saw in the aftermath, but let's see what led up to that. So now they're they're pulling. She's already pulled over, and, and look where they are. They know they're on the fucking railroad tracks. They know that's what they are. The cop, this other cop pulls up, and and why would you stop right on the railroad tracks? First thing you do is tell them move your damn car. I, I just just by this tiny little snippet alone this officer is in deep trouble and their, their department is in deep trouble look at that car is on the tracks So Vasquez's car is on the tracks. This woman who's got her gun out, first thing she's got to do is get your car off the fucking tracks. You know, and there's so many guns out there, you know, so I can understand why cops are a little sketched, especially when, you know, they get a call about a road rage incident with a gun. They are totally oblivious to the fact that they're on the fucking railroad tracks. They're just oblivious to that fact. Put your hands up. Look at the tats. She's got quite a quite a few tats. And it, and it appears that this suspect is complying. When you get a call with a you know complaint of a gun, you know you have to have your dander up as a cop. You just do because, and so it's, that's why it's really dangerous if you're making a call and it's not true. Special We're giving commands. Her hands are out the window this time. She's complying. Her hands are out the window. And they're being careful as they should. She's got all kinds of bugs bugging her. 
so they now how many minutes uh, we're almost two minutes in and, and and that's that's before now that's just when this other officer gets there so that's two minutes you're sitting on the railroad tracks they're oblivious to that fact I got your right shoulder. I see a car seat. Clear. Okay, let's get the bed. Yeah, you drop it, I'll hold it. Okay. See, they, they don't see anybody in here at this point. Clear. So the, the truck is clear. See the tracks? Now we're at uh, 4.33. That's almost five minutes on the railroad tracks. We've seen this. It, it, you can see the tracks as clear as day. They're on the tracks. And at this point, they they could have moved that vehicle, the, the squad, back and off of the railroad tracks, but they don't. It took her a long time to pull over. I got a holster right here in the passenger seat. Okay. I just, it took her a very long time to pull over. When you take a long time to pull over, the cops go, what the fuck are they doing? You know, are they destroying evidence? Are they guilty? It's... They think it's consciousness of guilt when you are, and yet you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. Do you see her toss anything? I, 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 she could have because it took her a long time to pull over. The answer to that is no. I didn't see her toss anything. She could have, but she didn't. You didn't see it. I'm gonna put my rifle away. Alright. She could have because. When I was behind her, she was driving slow enough. Yeah. So she could have tossed something back. I tossed tossed it out the window? She could have. Out that window. Wouldn't you have seen her toss something out the window? Honestly, wouldn't you see it? No way. Who is, is that Mark? No, that's a... Uh... What do you hear now? And you're on the fucking railroad tracks. Now we're at 520. Five minutes and 20 seconds on those railroad tracks. Five minutes and you hear what? So you see that uh, that's at 5:43. So over five minutes on those railroad tracks. How dangerous is that? It, that and and this woman is now in critical condition because these cops just had no situational awareness. They didn't have any clue that they were sitting on, on railroad tracks. Morons. Morons. And what I don't like is the moral superiority that some of these cops have when you get on the street. Not all of them are like that, but sometimes you have this moral superiority. Um, and, and, you know, I'll give you an example. My daughter stuck her tongue out at a, uh, at, a, at a state trooper. She wanted to prove the point to her mother that sticking your tongue out was more powerful than flipping somebody off. Well, she did, and they got pulled over. And this guy gave her like a half-hour lecture, and by the time he got done lecturing her, he just he demonstrated how small his dick was, and and how how petty he was. I mean, he pulled my her mother over because she stuck her tongue out at him. There's nothing illegal about that, but he just got offended by that. Well, this is what this is what happens when you're too arrogant and you think you know everything and you don't take precautions. No matter what your profession is, you can't be so arrogant that you think you know everything. Now, the cops had left that 
actually, th this is really the fault of all the officers on the scene. And they've got to be having the oh shit moment. What the hell happened here? Now look at this vehicle. This vehicle is destroyed. Watch the fence. There may still be a firearm in the vehicle. I don't know if you guys have been through it yet. I'm really worried about the firearm at this point, right? Yeah. You got it? I got a holster here. No, yeah. we've not gone through we it. Weren't, we weren't sure if she threw it or if it's still hidden in the vehicle somewhere. Or if it's not even there. Where it took her a long time to pull over and Platteville said he did not see anything leave the vehicle. Right now I just need to find out who she is so we can... Yeah, so you find out if she's alive. Very little forgiveness uh, with the train. There's a light. Okay. You hear that? No, I didn't hear that. There's a round over there in the door. Okay. That's her. <laughs> How about a dated death? I know you know what you're doing. I was just thinking out loud. I'll let you look at that. I'll keep right. looking for the other stuff. And I don't think they ever found a firearm. I'm not. I'm actually not 100 percent sure on that. But, but even if she did have a firearm in there, if it was cased properly and stowed properly, it wouldn't have been illegal, unless she had a felony or something in her record. But this just goes to show you what happens when you don't take precautions. When you think you know everything and you're focused on one thing and you're distracted. And, and it, was city, it was so obvious for five minutes it was sitting on those tracks before uh, more than five minutes that, that car was sitting on, on, on that track. And what happened happened. And as a result... This woman was absolutely clobbered, and uh, I don't think she passed away, but I think she's um, seriously injured, and uh, this happened on September 16th, I think, from last month. So so this has just been our reaction to kind of what's going on um, in Colorado with uh, the car on the tracks. I'm Bruce Rivers. Uh, this is a good lesson. Don't leave your car on the railroad tracks, especially if you're getting pulled over by the cops. Um, we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board certified criminal defense lawyer. We'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Make sure you sign up for Patreon. Um, like, subscribe, follow us. So follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please, is that my goal?